Well, all week long, we've been updating you throughout the first ever Live and Work in Maine Open. And like any professional tournament, the final round is played on Sundays. News Center Maine Sam Rogers brings us to Falmouth to recap a week that focused on more than golf. Now, normally the 18th green at Falmouth Country Club doesn't look like this, but fans are crowding around to see who walks away as the first ever champion of the Live and Work in Maine Open. This is the 11-20 pairing. Players focusing before their final round, wrapping up a week that is bigger than golf. Certainly at a time when we need it most. Our job is to translate a wonderful visit into a great opportunity to relocate here full time. And so far, we're, we're finding good success with that. Executive Director of Live and Work in Maine, Nate Wyatt, says this week came together in partnership with Maine employers and sponsors. And this event was an opportunity not just to celebrate golf, but better yet to celebrate Maine. But Jason Dow is here to celebrate the golf. I've been here for this for all four days. This future pro has the best seat on the course behind the green on 18, a perfect place for autographs and golf balls. I don't ask for anything. All I ask is for them to send my hat. Folks also spending time at the fan zone behind the 10th green, including members watching the best in the world play their home course. That one guy just hard or birdied six out of seven holes, and I don't understand how he can do that. Walking up on 18 with a grandstand, that's not something you play on a lot. Shamrock Entertainment CEO Brian Corcoran adding not only has this week exceeded his expectations, but visitors are experiencing the best Maine has to offer. The relationships and really the shared affinity for living and working in Maine is carrying on to players, caddies, and this entire community. We love to see it. We love the attention it's bringing. Players and caddies are already telling organizers they are circling this week on their calendar for next year when the Live and Work in Maine Open returns to Falmouth. Sam Rogers, New Center, Maine. And just an hour ago, Chad Ramey tapped in this putt to win the first ever Live and Work in Vain Open with a score of 16 under par. Ramey's whole family was in attendance today, including his father, who was his caddy for the tournament. Go, Dad! All this excitement will return to Falmouth Country Club next June when the Corn Ferry Tour returns to Maine.